etiology and pathogenesis of megaloblastic anemia. The principal cause of megaloblastic anemia in a clinical practice are a cobalamin and folate deficiency indirectly due to drug-induced suppression of DNA synthesis and inborn error of metabolism, there is orotic aciduria. The major cause of cobalamin deficiency, the most important cause, it is a dietary deficiency. It is more common in strict vegetarian who avoid taking meat, eggs, dairy products. They are more prone to develop megaloblastic anemia due to cobalamin deficiency. And the problem with cobalamin absorption include atrophic gastritis, achlorhydria, and also autoimmune destruction of gastric parietal cell leading to failure of intrinsic factor production. And this condition known as pernicious anemia. Rarely the inborn error of metabolism can lead to vitamin B12 deficiency. Major cause of folate deficiency. The main cause of loss of this folate from the food is a poor food preparation due to dilution of the food also by the excessive heating and inactivation of folate. Folate deficiency occur in a situation where there's an increased physiological demand for the folate in chronic hemolytic anemia, that is sickle cell anemia, hereditary sclerocytosis, elliptocytosis, and during pregnancy. Infection like human immunodeficiency infection, HIV, and myelodysplastic disorders cause megaloblastic anemia due to direct effect on DNA in hemopoiety and other rapidly dividing cells. Clinical features of megaloblastic anemia. Children with megaloblastic anemia are commonly malnourished. Clinical features include pallor, anorexia, irritability, easy fatigability in like other anemias. Clinical features peculiar to the megaloblastic anemia include hyperpigmentation of the knuckles and the terminal phalanges, hepatosplenomegaly seen in 30 to 40% case and sometimes ictus. Petechial and other hemorrhagic manifestations like intracranial hemorrhage and the gut bleeding presenting as hematological emergency has also been reported. The presence of bleeding with severe anemia makes them clinically indistinguishable from aplastic anemia. Children with megaloblastic anemia may also mimic acute leukemia due to presence of hepatosplenomegaly. Fever is one of the clinical manifestations, but often under-recognized and was noticed in 60% of the case in one study from India. Neurological symptoms like tremor, paresthesia, hypotonia, seizures, developmental delay, developmental regression in association with severe anemia can sometimes be the presenting manifestation. These cases may show diffuse cortical atrophy in MRI brain in case of developmental regression. Impairment of cognitive function and the persi persistent of neurological bone sequence even after treatment, major area of concern. Which are the laboratory features of megaloblastic anemia? The laboratory features of megaloblastic anemia comprise of change in the peripheral blood and bone marrow picture and the serum concentration of methyl malonic acid, MMA, and homocysteine, and serum level of B12 and folate. The megaloblastic macrocytic anemia, in most of the cases, result from deficiency of B12 and folate deficiency. This means 
peripheral smear and the red cell indices will show macrocytes and the bone marrow reveal megaloblast. The normocytic macrocytic anemia occur in association with large number of various disorders. Macrocytosis is commonly seen in hemolytic anemia, that is sickle cell anemia and the post hemorrhagic anemia. Macrocytosis is an occasional also in alcoholism, leukemia, liver disease, aplastic anemia, sideroblastic anemia, myelodysplastic syndrome, anemia due to marrow infiltration, cytotoxic drugs, hypothyroidism, chronic obstructive lung disease, and scurvy. Here, bone marrow examination will not show megaloblast. These are the causes of macrocytosis other than megaloblastic anemia. What is a complete blood count and peripheral picture in case of megaloblastic anemia? All blood cells are affected and erythrocytes are very markedly in size and shape and some are large and oval. It is a macro ovalocytes. The morphological changes are directly proportional to the severity of anemia. The circulating megaloblast, there is a nucleated red cells that fail to mature appropriately are visible in circulation if hematocrit is less than 20%. Anemia typically macrocytic with mean corpuscular volume, it is 100 to 110 flocculation liter or more. And reticulocytopenia, it is less than 1% is a frequent finding. And this occurs because of inordinate impairment of erythropoiesis and culminating intramedullary destruction of megaloblast and the result um, there is a reticulocytopenia. So there is a progressive reduction in white count blood cell. There is a leukopenia. It is less than 2000 cells per microliters. So there is a leukopenia. Neutrophil hypersegmentation, there is a more than five lobes, at least 5% of the neutrophil, even more than six, and more lobes is a cardinal features of megaloblastic anemia. It is not worthy that nutritional megaloblastic anemia, there is a hypersegmented neutrophil, or there is a megaloblastosis. The complete blood count often reveal anemia, leukopenia, and from sometimes thrombocytopenia. Pancytopenia is also common finding in this case. So rarely microangiopathy, hemolytic anemia-like picture with birth cell and fragmented RBC is seen in severe B12 deficiency, and this is referred as pseudothrombotic microangiopathy. Serum vitamin B12 and folate level in case of megaloblastic anemia. These tests have a limited value because of their low sensitivity and specificity. There is a wide variation of cutoff value, especially to diagnose vitamin B12 deficiency. Previous study shows that vitamin B12 level were either normal or elevated in antecedent, also liver disease and in intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Although tissue store may be normal, serum folate level can decrease few days of the dietary restrictions. However, cobal cobalamin is less than 200 PG per ml and folate is less than 2 nanogram per ml are consistent with deficiency of these vitamins in the most of the quoted study in literature. Red blood cell in folate. RBC folate level is regarded as a more reliable source 
of determining tissue store of folate. Unlike serum folate, which is affected by dietary intake, RBC folate level remain constant with the lifespan of the cell. However, the assay of measuring RBC folate level has also fraught with unreliability. Investigation for inborn error of metabolism. When other common cause are excluded, urine fraud, orotic acid, and tandem mass spectrometry for a metabolic inborn metabolic disorders in newborn should be done. Bone marrow examination. The aspirated marrow is often hypercellular with a striking imbalance in nuclear cytoplasmic, often referred as nuclear cytoplasmic A-string crony. In view of erythroid hyperplasia, the ratio of myeloid to erythroid ratio is reverse called to one into one or even lower. Megaloblastic anemia will usually show hypersegmented neutrophil in a blood and jang metamylocytes and bends in marrow. It is not worthy that a megaloblastic anemia may be misdiagnosed as acute leukemia when megaloblastic anemia is very severe. In this case, the typical megaloblasts are obviously absent, rather most of the cell available are bizarre megaloblastic pronormoblasts that dominate the marrow because of lack of maturation of erythroid series, hence raising the possibility of erythroleukemia. Serum concentration of methyl malonic acid and homocysteine. Overall maturation, uh, overall measuring the serum methyl malonic acid and homocysteine level are established way of differentiating cobalamin deficiency from folate deficiency. In folate deficiency, there's a marked elevation of homocysteine level, while serum level of this methyl malonic acid is elevated, where the cobalamin deficiency, and there's a marked elevation of both metabolites. LDH, elevated LDH is a marker of inerective erythropoiesis is often seen in megaloblastic anemia due to both B12 and folate deficiency. And urine, there's excessive elevation of methyl malonic acid in the urine. Normally it is 0 to 3.5 milligram per 24 hour is a reliable and a sensitive index of B12 deficiency.